Hey, people, it's Zach, and you know, it's that, it's that time of the year again, isn't it? The time of year where it's okay to splurge a little and go, you know what, I guess it wouldn't hurt to get a sunburn. But my attention span can't possibly handle such a long season. I need something that can keep my boredom down and also my thirst for pelting people with water balloons. I'll make this work. Summer toys? Sure, why not? For all those parents that can't possibly entertain their kids during the summer. Some parents have work or school or just don't care. So you need something that will keep your kids happy, but also everyone else happy. At least it meets one of those requirements. Summer is a great time to be a kid. Summer road trips, camping, no school, but what if you're not fortunate enough to have any of those things over the summer? Some people just stay home or don't do anything that crazy. Plus, what if it's hot out and you need some way to stay cool? I mean, sure, you could just stay inside or take a cold bath or something, but... I'd rather just use water balloons. You need something to keep a little joy in your life, so why not use balloons filled with water? Wasting money was on my to-do list for today, so I went to the store and bought everything that had the words fun or zero bunch of balloons. Yes, one of the most popular things to do in the summer, water balloons. Because who wants to just spray water on them the easy way when they can get absolutely pelted? Growing up, I never really did that much outside when it came to summer. I would ride around in my little jeep. Like any sane kid would. I would watch cartoons. Of course I did. Oh, and I would play with my friends. Well, I know what I'm doing tomorrow. I always wanted these bunch of balloons, though, as they would have made it so much easier to play with them in the yard, but now I can finally make up for all that lost summer playtime, so let's finally open them up. I see a lot of commercials for these things, and they're definitely the way to go if your attention span is garbage. Like I said a few sentences ago, whenever I used to play with water balloons, I had to fill each one up individually, make sure it didn't pop or lose water, then take it to an adult so they could tie it because I didn't know how to tie things because I was always too busy riding around in my Jeep. These are way easier to use. All you do is attach them to your hose, wait for them to drop down, and you're all slut to slaughter some people. After testing them out, they're alright. They're definitely my first pick if I ever feel like having an ER visit. And the only problem I have with these things is that they never really pop when they hit someone. You have to really put some oomph into your fro if you want them to even have a chance of popping. Most of the time, it just feels like I'm getting hit over and over again with a bunch of heavy balloons. Because that's exactly what's happening. Well, maybe these water guns will be better. Little toy guns that you use to shoot water at people. Although I just have to ask, is this really the best habit you should be teaching your kids? Anytime I hold a banana now, I hold it like this. These are pretty fun, I guess. They're just simple little guns you can spray people with. They're pretty basic when it comes to summer toys, but they'll always be a classic. Some people take them way too seriously, though. Hiding behind trees and bushes, jumping off from behind corners like in the commercials. Just a bunch of unnecessary stuff, I guess. Well, I can cross another item off my to-do list. The only problem I had with these were that they were never really a great way to cool off. They only shoot a small amount of water, and unless you buy some more expensive ones, it won't take long for little parts to start breaking off, and for them to start leaking. Some definitely work better than others, and then there's ones that are designed to look like real guns. Okay, moving on. There are also sprinklers. This one you get a two-in-one. You can get your kids to shut up and it even waters your yard. This is another classic one, and I guess it's pretty fun. But you have to be careful when setting it up, or you will regret it. I just don't like getting wet if I'm not gonna get all the way wet. Really, the only summer activity I'm a big fan of is swimming. But I couldn't find a good pool at Walmart that was user-friendly, so I just went home with what I got. But sprinklers can be pretty fun if you have the right mindset. But the water is always too cold, in my opinion. But honestly, you can say that about all of these toys. The final summer activity I can think of is a classic Monopoly. I think I might need a few more before I can talk about that. No, what I'm actually talking about is the hose. Ew. You can spray your friends, clean your windows if you're one of those kids, and even spray your neighbors. Although if you do that one, you better know where to go. Although I never did this that much though, because I was always afraid I would waste water and my parents would get upset. I was some four-year-old, wasn't I? Alright, I think that's all the things I can talk about now. And honestly, regardless of what I think of these things, I can't imagine summer without them. They gave numerous people, including me, memories we'll cherish forever. I remember having water balloon fights with my cousins, playing in the sprinkler with my sister, and trying to shoot our chimney with water guns. So that's why Santa always gave me coal. And even though I don't play with them as much as I used to, I know that if I have the right people with me, I can still have a fun time with them. Unless you pour a bunch of water on someone, then you're just crossing the line. So in the end, I'll always love these things. Oh, they definitely made summer more bearable. But I think it's time to make one last memory with them.